My name is Yuta Komori, 23 years old. Hey, I'm coming in. Uh. Are you sleeping? I knew you were awake. Don't go into my room without permission. You're the one who's awake, but you don't answer me. What a shut-in! And just as she had introduced, I am unemployed. You never get tired of it. All you do is stay in your room and play games day in and day out. You're really helpless, aren't you? It's none of your business. And a shut-in. No girlfriend. No friends. At 23 years old, I am an irredeemable human being with so much that is wrong as a person. How did I end up like this? Uh, how can you come to my house every day without getting tired of it? I can't help it. Your mother asked me to do it. Otherwise, I wouldn't even want to take care of such a useless person. If that's the case, why don't you just say no? I mean, I told her to. I told her not to send you to my room anymore. How can you say such a thing? It's thanks to me that you are just barely able to maintain your dignity as a human being. What did you say? If I don't show up, you have to eat cup noodles for three meals. And since you won't have anyone to talk to, you'll probably forget how to speak. I can live with that. If you want to be just alive... In the first place... Hmm? I lost my human dignity a long time ago. A shut-in who knows what he's doing is a real pain in the ass. She's a bad talker. But it's not the first time she's been bad-mouthed. Yuta, you're too slow. Run faster. Sayu Sayuri. She is my childhood friend. Ever since I was little, she was always making fun of me. I can't run as fast as Sayu. That's why everyone else is leaving you behind. It's okay. If I stay, I'll cause trouble for everyone. You're rambling on like that again. Don't you want to play with me? Ugh! I'm smaller than other kids my age, and I'm not very strong. As a result, I was the kind of kid who was always left behind by my friends. The one who always pulled me along and supported me like that was... Hey, Utah! Uh, come with me, I'll pull you along. It was Yuji, my older brother by five years. I won! Whoa! I lost! You're as weak as ever. Even if it's a game, losing to Utah makes me really angry. I'm the weakest in the real world. Let me win at least virtually. If you're so good at games, why don't you go work that way or something? I don't have that much talent. You won't know unless you try. If I try and it doesn't work out, I'll be even more depressed. You're mentally weak. I'm here because I'm mentally weak. You're a really depressing guy to be with. That's why you don't have to come here. I told you, I don't want to come here. The world is scary. What I was proud of in my small world is forcibly measured by someone else's scale. And when I am branded no good by that scale, the little things I was proud of instantly become worthless. That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, I'm going home. Okay. Dinner is in the fridge. Thanks. If you want to thank me, you should get out of your room and get a job. It doesn't matter if it's a part-time job. <sighs> you don't reply to the important part, do you? You're a shut-in. <sighs> I'm sorry. Awesome! Eugene, did you win again? Well, yeah. Yuji, my brother, was very different from me. Not just in my own little world. He was someone who was amazing by other people's measure. You two can be just like your brother. You are brothers. Well, I can't. No, you can. If you work hard, you can do anything. It's okay. I have my brother Yuji. I was proud of my brother. He was amazing. Being my brother's brother was my identity. 
Look, it's Yuji. He won the individual competition again. That's amazing. I wonder what talent my brother has. If I don't think so, my worthlessness will be proven. My brother is too great and I am too small. Compared without choice, I will be beaten down. If I don't make my brother the value of my existence, there is no place for me there. I was afraid of the world. Ugh. Yuta? You're awake, aren't you? I'm sleeping. You're not sleeping. I'm going to beat you up. I told you I'm sleeping. Why did you come in here without permission? I told you, I'm going to kick your ass. Try it, I'm telling you. I'm a weak guy whose muscles ache after walking three steps. You're so weak. I'm here because I'm weak. You should at least take a walk. I mean, go outside. I don't want to. I'll die if I get exposed to the sun. When did you get bitten by a vampire? You are safest inside the house. You don't know what kind of danger you will face if you go outside. I walk through that danger zone every day to come to your house. Why don't you just not come? I don't want to come here. I'm scared outside. There are so many dangers outside. You don't know what's out there. That's right. What? My brother too died from that. Poor kid. He was hit by a truck that ran a red light. He had such a promising future. How could this happen? That's right. He had a promising future. He accomplished everything that I could never accomplish. He was the star of hope for the Komori family. That's why. <sighs> Mom, are you okay? Yes, I'm sorry, Yuta. Even though it's hard for you too. If I was going to die anyway, it would have been much better for me. Uh, Yuta, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, when you're having a hard time, you can count on me. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay by your side from now on. Uh. Yuta? That's right. If I was going to die, it should have been me. The world, my relatives, my mother, and even me. I wish you were still alive. I think so. Then, it would have been me. I have to take my brother's place. That's right. If someone was going to die, it should have been me. The world, my relatives, my mother, and even me. Everyone wishes he was still alive. Then, it would have been me. I have to take my brother's place. Here's your meal. Thank you. Bon appetit. I'm warning you. If you say it's not good, I'll cut off your tongue. I've never said that before, have I? Yeah, it's delicious. Of course it's good. I made it myself. You're going to make a good wife. What? What? Are you hitting on me? Of course not. Why would I need to hit on you? I don't want to be with you either. My life is going to be a hell of a mess the day I get married to a shut-in. You're right. I'm sorry if your life is ruined by marrying me. The day I marry a shut-in. Don't say it twice. I have to say it twice to let you get the message. You're an idiot. I know you don't want to marry me. You're an idiot after all. Anyway, you've always hated me. What? You're going to practice after school again? All by yourself? Yeah. You're an idiot. You're too small and not strong enough. You're not suited for this, you know. So what? I'm telling you to stop. Don't be so desperate. Just play normally and do what suits you. You don't even have any friends. And if you don't do that, you'll become more and more isolated. I don't care about that. To take the place of my brother. To play the role of an older brother. When I became a junior high school student, 
I started tracing everything my brother had done. I couldn't catch up with my brother, who had talent to begin with. If I just followed his example, if I just worked hard, I could never catch up with my brother who had started before me. I spent several times longer and worked dozens of times harder than my brother. My past time, time, my friendships, I threw it all away. I was desperate to become my brother. Whatever you like. Yes, I'll do as I like. Sayu always looked at me coldly. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't produce even a single result. I'm sure she thought I was an irredeemable fool. That's probably why she didn't like me. It's really... too painful to look at. I mean... Hmm? Your body has really slowed down, hasn't it? Yeah. Until high school, you were a little more fit, weren't you? That's because I used to train a lot. You don't do it at all anymore? You can do it at home, at least a little. No, I haven't. Uh, oh! You lost! When did you... That's because you've been distracted, you fool! I don't want to be told by someone who has been distracted from life itself, seriously. I totally agree. Since that day in the second year of high school, my motivation has completely disappeared somewhere. Oh, Yuta, how was it? How was your result? Uh, was no good. I see. 17 years old. It's been four years since I started aiming to become my older brother. One more year. In one more year, I will reach the age at which my brother died. And yet, I am still the same. I'm still at a level where I can even be compared to my brother. I spent a lot of time. I put in a lot of effort. My mother and relatives recognize this process, but the world doesn't. It shows me unequivocally, I'm a person who can't accomplish anything. Don't worry, you're working this hard. The time will come when you will be rewarded. I wonder if that's true. My brother didn't get rewarded. He was far more talented than me. He put in far more effort, and he put in far more time. All of that is gone, isn't it? No, that's why. That's why I have to work hard in this place. In place of my brother who was not rewarded halfway. I'm going to work harder, and I'm going to get results. What? So, I think you should refrain from doing sports that use your legs from now on. I couldn't. Can't you do something about it? Yuta has been working hard since junior high school. I'm sorry. But, considering the patient's future, from a doctor's point of view, it's very difficult. Ugh, there was no way I could have done anything. I knew it. The world is scary. The outside is full of danger. And the world is so unreasonable. I knew that nothing would ever be rewarded. I knew it all from the beginning. Why did I do it? Why did I keep having these... Uh, stupid dreams? How is Yuta these days? He's still shutting himself in and playing video games as usual. He doesn't seem to come out of his room at all. I'm sorry. It's just that I moved out on my own. No, no, no! It's fine! I know how hard your job is. You don't have to take it too hard, okay? This is our family problem, and you don't have to work hard. What are you talking about? I'm the one who wants to do it. I will support Yuta. I will always be there for him. So, it's not something for you to worry about. Idiot, I'm coming in. I didn't say you can come in. I don't need your permission. Your mother told me I can come in without permission. Yuta? He has always been a gutless guy. I think I locked the door to my room. Don't be evil. I can unlock every room in this house. If there is a burglar, I will suspect you first. What? How can you be robbed when you stay at home all year round? That's true. But for that... 
But because of that, he is more sensitive to others than others. When I'm happy, when I'm sad, when I'm angry, no matter what time of day it is, he always knows it immediately. He was the kind of boy who turned into me as if I were his own person. <sighs> Until elementary school. Okay, I'll make you dinner. Thanks. Hmm. You can say thank you at least. He was always without himself in the account. He always put others before himself. He was the kind of guy who put others first too often. He was the kind of guy who always lived one step, or even more than ten steps, away from the people around him. I liked him like that. I liked him, but I was disgusted by him. I wanted to tell him to be more considerate of himself. I wanted to tell him to follow me, but all I did was act awkwardly, and then... You... What? I don't know how you do this much every day, no matter how much you're told to take care of me. If you think so, get out of your room. Go find a job. I'm still behaving awkwardly. <sighs> Why are you so quiet today? I'm not a man of many words to begin with. Is that so? I usually feel like you're rambling on and on about unproductive things. <sighs> uh, perhaps you're finally starting to feel a little sorry for me? No. What? Be thankful to me and work! Not finally, not a little. I've always felt sorry for you. <sighs> I'm telling you, every day, you don't have to come here anymore. If you have time to talk like that, I'm telling you to go outside! It's scary outside. It's not scary. I am scared. Then, why? Why were you able to go outside before? That's... What is it? Because I had something to hold on to. Uh, are you talking about your brother? Uh. Whose life are you living? Even if your brother is gone, you will still be here. Even if you can't be your brother, you'll still be here. Uh. Don't be silent. Say something. I... You don't understand. You don't know how I feel. Huh? <sighs> okay, that's enough. Saw you. I'm going home today. Bye. Oh. <sighs> what the hell am I doing? He's really upsetting me. Hmm. What's with a you don't understand? You're a damn shut-in, you know that? Hmm. What? Now, I was so excited to see my high school friends for the first time in a very long time that I wanted to punch myself an hour ago. You should be happy. How can I, you idiot? Come on, it's fun, isn't it? Drink more alcohol. Get drunk. Then listen to my complaints. I'm drinking and I'm drunk. And I'm getting drunker and drunker listening to you complaining. That's great. How is this great? Huh. <sighs> you don't even know how I feel when I go to his house every day. Then, why don't you just stop? Even if you say that to me... Not even. It's everyone. If anyone listens to your story, everyone will say so. Why? It's fine. I am trying to save my childhood friend who is a shut-in. It's a wonderful charity. It's a charity with no visible results. How many years have you been doing it? It doesn't matter how many years. It's up to me. You've been spending most of your time on it since you started taking care of Komori. What's wrong with that? In college, you went to his house for everything, except lectures and part-time jobs. After you became a member of society, you went to his house right after work. <sighs> because of that, you cut off your old friends, colleagues, seniors, juniors, and even your own time. You are cutting off everything. So, what's that all about? You... 
Whose life are you living? Uh, uh, I wonder why. I can do this every time. I know all I have to do is put my hand on the doorknob and turn it. That's all it takes to open the door. And that's all it takes to get out of this room. But why? Uh, are you awake? I'm sleeping. Why do you always say that? I've had enough of that. You're the one who's going to come in anyway. So why do you keep asking? I won't go there anymore. Don't worry. What? I won't open this door anymore. Uh. Or rather, I won't come to this house anymore. I see. So, you open this door. What? If you want to see me, you open this door. Then, go out and come and see me. You know I can't do it. You're a mean person. You don't deny that you want to see me, do you? Of course I want to see you. <sighs> you always pull me along. You are always there for me. Even though I'm in this situation, you still continue to support me. How could I not want to see you like that? <sighs> but I also know that if it bothers you, and it's true that I don't want you to come. <sighs> Yesterday... <sighs> I met an old friend. What? She said whatever she wanted to me. She said that since I started taking care of you, my social life has deteriorated. I've given up my hobbies, and I'm wasting too much of my time. It's really none of her business. Your friend is right. Really, why did you go that far? Of course it's because I like you. Uh. Of course, it's because I like you. Did you really think I hated you? Are you an idiot? Sayu! What do you mean you're bothering me? Don't take the liberty of feeling any pull in what I'm doing because I like what I'm doing. But you told me to be grateful or to feel sorry for you. Of course you should be thankful. Also, you should feel sorry that I'm doing all this for you and you're not coming out. You're right. So? Ugh. I told you earlier, I won't open it anymore. I won't come here anymore either. Ugh. I certainly like you. I don't want to be without you. But I can go out without you. I can live without you. That's the kind of person I am. I'm... But you are different. If you don't have something to cling to, you're no good. That's why, if you're going to cling to something, cling to me. I'll go out for you. What? Come out for me. Come to see me for my sake. If you don't see your own value, use me to find it. It doesn't matter if you don't have the value or ability to be recognized by anyone. You just go out, walk around, and come see me. You can make me so happy, I'll be in heaven. It's super easy, isn't it? <sighs> I'm not sure if this would be possible if you didn't like me, though. Huh? I think you're spoiling me too much, aren't you? <laughs> what are you talking about? I've been spoiling you for a long time, haven't I? <sighs> yes, I won! Huh? Thanks, Sayu. It's thanks to you pushing me. I never knew I had so much talent as an esports player. It's funny. You're not unemployed anymore. But you're becoming more a shut-in. 